Hello, this is Jailbreak. My talk today is about vertex editing using the Reactor Builder. But first, a word from our sponsor. Pair of Furniture, the home for fine bedroom, living room, and bathroom furniture. If it's gray, Para has it. All right, so the problem I'm going to look at to demonstrate vertex editing is the process where I'm going to uh, take two uh, cor uh, uh, edges and make them intersect with a corner. I'm not going to do the complete problem. The end result should look something like this, or only better perhaps. And instead I'm just going to concentrate on just the first step, which is started by taking a voxel. And this is usually the first thing you want to do anyway. Taking a voxel and pasting it in a likely location. Now the result <coughs> of pasting this shows that basically um, the six vertices here are <coughs> correctly uh, are just uh, set to the environment and only the last two vertices are, are actually left to our flex uh, to our uh, judgment as to where they should go looking at the reactor from the front point of view the eight vertices of a voxel are controlled by handles in each one of these posi numbered positions from the back one through four and from the front five through eight so what we're going to be looking at is finding what handles should be to adjust positions five and eight these are the front right two vertices. And I'm going to copy this down to the reactor to start with and I'm going to place around it handles which are now going to conform to the existing vertice positions. Uh, so what I need to do is I need to capture this voxel. Okay, I'm going to bring it over here. Now the reactor designer presents three orthographic projections of the voxel. This is the prime voxel, the initial one that we start with. And I'm going to start by editing the front face. First by expanding it. Now if I take my voxel and place it right here, you'll see it pretty much overlays and is scaled to the right size for uh, map being mapped to the uh, designer. Now as it stands, the front face is, is uh, separated from the screen. It's not directly against the screen, which makes it difficult to adjust those vertices. So I'm going to go here and reflect this in the y direction so that when I paste it the front face is against the screen and now it's easy enough to adjust the uh, vertices now because of parallax you have to find the right position to give you a good perspective on where these vertices need to go from this is what I think is the best orientation and I adjust those two vertices like that the other two vertices are in their default location, or the, the 5 and the 8 vertices. Okay, having done the front face, the next face to do is the back face. Okay, well I need to undo that reflection, but the question is, is this the right way to paste the back face onto the screen? Well, you'll note that, the, and here let me uh, rotate this around for us to get a good view. The back face consists of a small triangle. Okay, and from the back point of view, that small triangle appears to my right. So that's where it should appear on the screen. It should be to my right 
if I have this right, uh, correct. So, in this position, the right thing to do is to reflect this in the Y so that that triangle gets set against the screen on to the right. And now, I will adjust the vertices. Now, it was a small triangle because this vertex here was pushed all the way over here. Uh, okay, this is going to be difficult here. But this vertex comes down. This one, again, this is a question of, ver of uh, parallax. So let's do this in steps here. Let's get this one right in the right position. And now I need to find where does that should that go? And maybe this point, I'm going to take a hint from the handle here. Okay, this was pushed straight down as we did, and this one was actually placed, uh, this, this vertex was pushed all the way over to this corner, so it co-locates there. See, that's something that isn't clear just by looking at the voxel where this came, went to. So what I should be doing is I'm going to push this right there. Okay, so now we have our triangle. The back face done it only requires for us to do one more orthographic projection, and I'll choose the left and right. And the reason why we only have to do two of the orthographic projections is because when we're adjusting things, we're adjusting it in two dimensions. So that uh, and it takes care of the, th the, the third orthographic projection. Um, all right, so here is the left point of view. So again, taking a look here, we can see what we have, we have the, looks like, another triangle. Right. Or no, no, that's not a triangle, it's a, it's a little rectangle. You can see the four sides. So this left view consists of a, of a rectangle. I'm going to get a fresh copy of this. And now, so if I rotate this to the left, okay, there's that rectangle that I was talking about. And from the left point of view, the high end is to my left. So again, this is to the left. So all I need to do is do a reflection in the y direction to get it against the face of the screen. All right, so those two points look good. Now I'm just going to adjust these two points. All right. And now the right face. Let's see. Well, we know that these are the points 5 and 8, which are in the correct positions because they're in their starting position. So we're only really concerned about the remaining two. It might be a little easier if I move this out of the way. And we can see from these handles that um, this these vertexes are just pushed straight back. So when I'm looking at it from the right point of view, the right hand side vertices are pushed straight back. Which basically means from an orthographic projection their positioning does not change. So I can just leave that alone, as is. This will stay exactly the way it's supposed to. All right. So we're now at this point, and now we get to the. Now that we have the voxel modeled, we now can start editing it. And I'm going to just start with a simple guess that maybe all we need to do is bring this point down to this point here, which means I'm going to move point. Uh, vertex 8 down to meet vertex 5. I'll go into build mode and I can skip all the steps up to vertex step 8 
which is for Vertex 8. As that, of course, is the only thing that I've actually changed, or will be changing here. So I copy the voxel, reflect, reflect, insert, edit, copy, shift paste to replace the existing voxel and this is the, the result. Is. We can also, to maybe make it a little clearer what the end result is, let's add another voxel in here. Okay, so that's what we are seeing happening at this point. Well, I can say right now that this is not quite the right place for it. We want really a little bit more of a, a curve going down. It eventually has to meet this corner point. Um, so we get to the point, uh, we get to uh, that part of the voxel editing, which re regards uh, voxel repair. So, I'm, so what you could can do in some situations, instead of completely tearing things down, you might want to just grab a voxel, like this one, place it in a reactor, model all eight vertices in that case, and then make your adjustments. So, in this case, we've already, in the sense, have that already set up. Right, we got the, uh, the reactor set and primed, and we have the model here with all eight points defined. And we're going to decide how we want to change it. Well, kind of talking about maybe pushing that point down. So let's do that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the two point two uh, vertex five and eight on top of each other, and I'm going to move them together down, say, a quarter voxel like that. So I move those two. And now I'm going to build, and this time I have to do points. 5 and 8. So I go to step 5. Okay. Follow the instructions. And use shift paste to override the existing environment. Okay, and now I have to go and do point 8. Reflect X, Z. So now let's see what the result of that there. And we see the whole construct uh, gets shifted. Things look better. I mean, it looks like more of a kind of a curve that we would be expecting. Well, this process could continue until this whole corner is completed. And um, I think I'll do that after uh, I sign off. So have a good day. This is Jailbreak. Enjoy editing.